here's where we are at the museum. The City Museum of Rosario. Normal everyday life in the city of Rosario. Look at that dude. That dude is so happy to have his picture taken. Looking dapper. 112,461. All done in stained glass out here in the hallway. Yo soy de donde hay un río. I am from where there's a river. Makes you feel like you're like right by the river. Welcome back everyone to Rosario, Argentina. Today we are going back to Parque Independencia and we're going to be visiting the City Museum of Rosario, the Museum Vladimir Mikhailovich. So, come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you want to help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's going to help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video. Enjoy. Okay, we're inside. City Museum. City Museum of Rosario. Vladimir Mikhailovich. And I found out who Vladimir Mikhailovich is. Did a little research. Asked the very nice woman here at the front desk. And apparently he was like a historian who focused on uh, history of like life in uh, Rosario. And he's from Rosario and he had all kinds of archives. Um, he was also like a cartoonist. He would draw cartoon strips of like funny sort of typical life in Rosario cartoon strips and other things. But anyway, when he passed away in 1999, he donated a lot or pretty much all of his archives to the museum here, so they named the museum after him. So that's who Vladimir Mikhailovich is. But I found out that this museum, turn the camera around, this museum is a museum that is about the history of like the life of just normal people, normal everyday life in the city of Rosario. It's a, it's a recent museum that I think was finished in, I don't know, the 80s, I think maybe it was opened. And it shows off, rather than showing off like the grand history of uh, liberators and things like that shows sort of like what life was like the common you know the common person history of of Rosario which is very interesting and here in the first room they have Parque Independencia and here's some of the things that we've seen here when we toured Parque Independencia before there's that that little thing on top of the hill that had that sculpture in it that we weren't sure who it was. Let's see what else. This is that, the sculpture up um, on that little lake in the plaza up the north part. What else? This I think is the French garden, it looks like. And the bridge, the little bridge going across the lake. Very cool. Here I guess a photo of them excavating everything and making the park. This would have been in, yeah, 1900, right here. A map here from 1900. Yeah, we recognize all these things. This is, let's see, there's the lake. There are the plazas. And the, I guess this is the Rose Garden. Yeah, here's, here's where we are, at the museum. Hippodromo. Very cool. Some old photos here. This is the museum, or the building the museum is in, right? Which I think this, this museum wasn't always in this building, or it was, it was originally somewhere else. And they moved it here to this building, which actually was like, it used to be a building for, um, like the gardening and landscaping staff office. Some more photos here. And one of these old benches, which is really cool. It has this like seal on it, which I think is like, I don't know, maybe the seal of the city. It's got the flag and the river, the Rio Paraná. Very cool. What do we got here? Got some old dudes 
Dapper mustache, very dapper. These are look like old public works directors. Yeah, engineer and director of public works of the municipality of Rosario. Very cool. All right, let's check out what we what else we have here. Hola, ¿qué tal? Yo soy de donde hay un río. I am from where there's a river. Yeah, see, this is cool. Like, you know, we have, we go to history museums a lot, right? And we see the history of, you know, conquistadors and generals and presidents and Jose de San Martin and Simon Bolivar and guys like that. But super cool to come to a museum that's completely dedicated to like the history of just, you know, normal everyday life. Normal everyday life in, uh, in a city. That's really cool. All right, here we have Rio Paraná. There's some old pottery here. It's like pre-Columbian. And I guess these are from the artist Raul Dominguez, who was born here in Rosario, 1918. Very, very cool paintings. Like the marshland along, uh, along the river. They're playing sound in the background here. That's like river sounds. Which is very cool. Makes you feel like you're like right by the river. They're really beautiful. Beautiful oil paintings of the river. Honestly, having, I don't know if you can hear that in the video, the sound they play over the speakers. Like the sound of birds and the water lapping at the shores, it's very cool. It gives a really good environmental touch to this gallery, this little gallery here. All right, let's let's keep going here. Let's see what else we have in store here at the City Museum. I already like this museum, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've said before, um, okay, that's administration. That's the library and the archive. Let's go across the hall here. Like I said, I, I like um, museums that are a little bit sort of, I don't know, off the beaten path, I guess. Maybe ones that people might not think to visit. Maybe ones that aren't like listed in all the tourist guides and things like that. This kind of has that feel, and I like that. So here we go. I guess this is the seal, yeah. El Escudo de la Ciudad de Rosario. So that's the seal of the city. The sun, the background, the fort with the flag. Because of course this is the cradle of the flag, that's the name of the city, because the flag was planted right next to the flag monument, which we have right here. That video, of course, we visited this monument, flag monument. First video we made here in Rosario. Check out uh, the description, link in the description. It's an amazing monument. Now, I mentioned when we were at that monument in that video that the whole thing, if you see it from above, is shaped like, uh, like, a, like a ship, right? And you can see it here, the front of the ship there. The, I guess, bow is the bow the front? I think the stern is the back. Hope I got that right. And then the mast, the monument itself is like the mast. It's a huge monument, beautiful. If you haven't seen that video, check that out. That, that monument is like, this thing is very, very impressive. What else do we have here? Some old recreation of an old uh, newspaper, La Capital.
the general plan of the works of Rosario. Because Rosario, of course, as mentioned, uh, I think in that video about the flag monument, Rosario doesn't have the same history as a lot of the cities that we visited in here in Argentina and also just like all over South America. A lot of those cities are pre-colonial settlements there and then the Spanish came in, conquered, took over, started a Spanish colonial settlement there and then that grew. But Rosario, Rosario was like a just a little tiny farming community for like all the way up through the, like the mid 1800s and then in the second half of the 1800s with the European immigration boom here in Argentina, the, a lot of them came here. As part of that European immigration boom, as part of the constitution that sort of encouraged European immigration, Rosario, the river Paraná here, was opened up to international navigation. So Rosario, which was basically like a backwater until then because no international ships were allowed to like come up the river to here. Now they were, and it became like a major, major port city. Here they show Rosario declared a city in 1852. So that like, like I mentioned in the video about the flag monument, um, this is at the end of the Argentine civil war between the Unitarians and the uh, federal, the federals, federales. And in 1852, at the end of the Battle of Caseros, that's when Rosario was declared to be a city. And then the river was opened up for international navigation. So here, it's really cool, there's a census. And this is from 1900, 1887 to 1900. And you can see the difference, right? Now, just to mention, in 1852, there probably were only a few thousand people here because it wasn't a city. It was just a small little settlement, like a little town. Darwin actually sailed through, Charles Darwin sailed through, and in his journal in 1832, he wrote that it was just a few thousand people here. But of course, it opened up to us become a city in 1852. By 1887, 50,000, almost 51,000 inhabitants, 29,000 of which were Argentine, and 20,000 of which were foreign immigrants. Mostly Italian, 11,955. Spanish, French, uh, I can't read what that says. <laughs> There's German, right? Germans, Brazilian and Portuguese, and Americanos, Estados Unidos. And then here, by 1900, 112,461 inhabitants, 65,000 Argentine, and 46,000 um, extranjeros, foreigners, 25,000 Italianos, 11,000 Spanish, 2,000 French, uh, I still can't read what that says. But you can see all the other breakdowns, German, what else, Brazilian, Dutch, Belgium. There's United States, 100, 110 per 1,000. One, one per 1,000, 110 from the United States. That's crazy. This city really did have a major, major population boom to go from a few thousand in the first half of the 1800s to 1887 having 50,000, 1900 having 112,000. And now, now it's like 1.3 million, something like that. It's a lot. A lot of industry built up around here. A lot of agriculture built up. They built a lot of railroads, as you can see. So there would be agriculture and industry out in the city, industry in the city, agriculture out in the outskirts and out in the farm fields. And all of it would come through here on train, get loaded onto ships, shipped in and out. Very cool. This is a really cool photo, 1907. Panoramic photo of the port. 
Here we go. Here's a plan, 1935 map of Rosario with this like super cool um, art deco style uh, font. I love that style from like the 30s and the 40s. There it is, Rio Paraná. Let's see what we can see here. here here's us, right there, Parque Independencia. And the flag monument is over here-ish. What else have we seen? Hmm. Centro. Right around in here, the center. Commercial center neighborhood right around in there. There's another old panoramic shot. shadows getting in the way still it's very cool this is from 1903 and the flag monument here old shot of the flag monument this must have been when they uh, when they inaugurated the flag monument that was in like the 1950s I want to say 57 something like that 1950s back here oh more paintings okay this is Salvador Zaino born in 19 or 1858 in Italy Localidad de Popoli Región de los Abruzzos I guess he came here 1891 to Rosario. Of course, many, many, during the second half of the 1800s, many, many Italian immigrants came here to Rosario, to Argentina, just in general. Got a whole video about that, actually, about the immigration of Italians and the relationship between Italy, the history between Italy and Argentina. Also a video from the uh, Immigration Museum in Buenos Aires. That was really cool. I'll put the links to both of those in the description. These are cool. Very beautiful, beautiful impressionist oil paintings. Let's see if we recognize, do we recognize any of these uh, locations? Hmm, let's see. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Still, very beautiful paintings. Some more photos here. These are, they look like well, let's see. This is Alfonsina Storni, 1949. Is this not 1949? Some of these look a little earlier than 1949. This definitely looks earlier. I mean, definitely 20th century, but uh, more like early 20th century, 1920s maybe. Let's see. Oh no, here, yeah, even earlier. 1890 to 1910, these photos. It's so right around the turn of the century. Wow. Look at this guy. Look at that dude. That dude is so happy to have his picture taken. He's posing. He's looking, looking dapper down there by the river. Some, uh, some of our wealthier citizens lounging by the river. This guy, look at that guy. He's showing off. She, oh wow, look at this. Down by the river, shooting at, I guess, some birds maybe? 
tell you that woman next to her is gonna lose her hearing when she <laughs> shoots that shot. She's gonna fire it off like two feet from her ear. There we go. Some of these people enjoy hopping onto the old uh, boat there. This guy moving, <laughs> moving during the shot. So it comes out all blurred. I love old photos because a lot of them, you know, depending on how old they are, what medium they were using. If you moved a little bit, you get all blurry. That's very cool. This is a very cool building too. It's, it's kind of small, but I mean, it has this cool, I don't know, like a shield, seal, all done in stained glass out here in the hallway. It's cool, like high wood ceilings. Upstairs, I think, is all like storage and offices and stuff like that. Can't really get up there, but up at the top of each of the stairwells, there's like paintings, old oil paintings. Some more up in there. Very cool. It's a very cool building. Well, I think that's it. That's going to be it for the video from here at the uh, City Museum of Rosario. Museo de la Ciudad, Vladimir Mikhailovich. It really is, so let me step back here a little bit. It really is a very nice looking little building with the park in front. Very beautiful, right? And originally it was just, I think a building, you know, just to like be the office for where all the groundskeepers of the park were. And uh, they turned it into a museum of the city. Very interesting little museum. There's not that much in the museum to be honest, but like what is in there is very, very cool. So I would re recommend highly, if you're coming here to uh, Parque Independencia, you see all around us, beautiful fountain here too. If you're coming here and maybe going to the McDonald's across the street to grab a burger, shoot across the street, check this place out. It's super cool, it's free. They uh, you know, have a recommended do donation of a few, like 500 pesos, 1,000 pesos, something like that. Give them a little donation. Come check out the Museo de la Ciudad Vladimir Mikhailovich here in Parque Independencia. You won't be disappointed, it's very cool. But, I think that's gonna be it for the video. We've come and we've seen a very cool museum here. We're gonna see a lot more cool stuff here in Rosario. And uh, we still wanna see other stuff here, like in Parque Independencia, there's another museum, the Provincial History Museum, that we still wanna see. And we're gonna see that in a future video, but for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you in the next one.